Welcome back to Pharma Health Insights. If you've ever wondered how modern pharmaceutical companies make faster decisions, achieve zero-touch monitoring, build real-time quality control, and stay permanently audit-ready, then today's episode will open that world for you. We're stepping inside the digital backbone of next-generation pharma, from process analytical technology, PAT, that sees inside your process, to AI systems that predict deviations before they happen, to data lakes that unify information across an entire plant, and EQMS platforms that automate compliance with a single click. The future of pharmaceutical quality isn't something we're waiting for anymore. It's already here, operating silently behind the world's most reliable manufacturing lines. And in this episode, you'll discover exactly how the smartest pharma teams are using digital tools to transform compliance, boost efficiency, prevent failures, and deliver consistent product quality, batch after batch, year after year. Before we jump in, ask yourself, what if your entire production line could talk to you in real time? Let's begin by understanding why digital transformation isn't a choice anymore, it's survival. Every year, over 60% of global pharma deviations trace back to human error, manual entries, or delayed detection. And regulatory expectations, they've evolved. Authorities now expect data integrity, real-time visibility, traceable decisions, and closed-loop control strategies. Digital transformation solves these challenges by enabling instant visibility into batch performance. Predictive detection of deviations, automated documentation, faster regulatory submissions, fewer recalls. But the biggest reason, speed plus compliance equals competitive advantage. Companies that modernize first become the market leaders. Those who resist slowly fall behind. So how do teams actually digitize a process that has been manual for decades? It starts with the technology that changed the way we measure and control processes forever, PAT. Process Analytical Technology, PAT, is truly the backbone of modern pharmaceutical process control. If traditional manufacturing gives you snapshots, PAT gives you continuous vision. It's like installing a set of super-powered sensors directly onto your production line. Eyes, near, Raman, and high-speed vision sensors that watch every granule, every blend, every coating layer. Ears, acoustic sensors that listen to mixing, fluid bed drying, and even compression noise to detect abnormalities. Touch, real-time probes measuring moisture, viscosity, density, flow, sensing the physical truth of the material. With PAT, you're not waiting hours for the QC lab to tell you what already happened. You're measuring the critical quality attributes, CQAs, while the process is running, not after it's finished. Take something as simple as moisture control. Traditionally, you might dry granules, send a sample to QC, and wait six to eight hours for a result. If it's wrong, the entire batch may be at risk but with online near moisture sensors, you get meaningful measurements every second. The system instantly tells you whether moisture is trending up, down, or drifting dangerously close to the edge. PAT doesn't just change workflow. It transforms your entire manufacturing philosophy from check after it's done to know as it happens. It's the difference between reacting to problems and preventing them in real time. But PAT alone is just hardware. The real magic happens when data flows continuously, without stopping at the lab door. Let's look at how data integration becomes your next breakthrough. In many plants, data lives in islands, limbs data in one system. SCADA data somewhere else, Excel sheets on someone's desktop, operator notes on paper. Digital transformation tears down these walls and creates a single source of truth. When PAT, equipment sensors, environmental monitors, QC instruments, and batch records speak to each other, you get real-time dashboards. Cross-process trend visibility, predictive alerts, instant release decisions, and most importantly, no missing records, no undocumented adjustments, no guesswork. Data becomes a living organism, always connected, always updating. 
and once your data flows freely, AI steps in and transforms the data into intelligence. Artificial intelligence is not replacing people, it's replacing uncertainty. AI tools analyze years of CPPCQA data within seconds, identify hidden patterns, and alert you before failures occur. Imagine this, AI notices a slight shift in granulation torque that usually leads to dissolution failures six hours later. It warns you immediately, you correct it instantly, deviation avoided, batch saved. This is predictive quality, the next evolution after QBD. AI also helps with root cause analysis, outlier detection, stability prediction, batch comparison, optimizing critical parameters. The result, a process that learns and improves every day. But even the smartest AI needs a strong home. Enter the digital headquarters of quality, EQMS. Enterprise quality management systems, EQMS, act as your quality brain. Every document, decision, CAPA, investigation, audit trail, and training record lives in one ecosystem. EQMS brings automation to change control, deviations and investigations, CAPA workflows, training matrices, document lifecycle control, supplier quality, no more paper folder hunting, no more uncontrolled copies, no more missing approvals. With EQMS, compliance becomes automatic, not effortful and audits, your system speaks for you. So what happens when PAT, AI, and EQMS all work together? Let's look at the real power of an end-to-end -end digital ecosystem. A fully digital, integrated quality ecosystem looks something like this. PAT to equipment sensors to MES to LIMS to EQMS to cloud analytics to AI models. It's not just a flow, it's a living digital nervous system. Each system feeds the next with precise, time-stamped data. Each action, whether automatic or manual, is captured and documented. Each parameter, from temperature to torque to impurity trends, is monitored in real time. Each batch becomes fully traceable, from raw material receipt to market release. And when all these layers work together, the ecosystem begins to operate like a smart city, every component connected, every signal meaningful, every deviation anticipated, every decision backed by data instead of guesswork. What you get is manufacturing that doesn't just function, it thinks, responds, and learns. This isn't a futuristic dream, this is the reality the most advanced pharma plants in the world are already building today. Now let's see a real case of how digital transformation saved millions and eliminated failures. A mid-sized pharma company faced a major challenge, frequent dissolution failures in 11% of their batches. They implemented PAT moisture probes, MES data capture, AI trend analysis, EQMS driven investigations. Within six months, dissolution failures dropped from 11% to 0%. Batch release time reduced from 14 days to 48 hours. Documentation errors dropped by 92%. Operator confidence increased. This is the ROI of digital transformation. Better quality, lower cost, faster release, fewer surprises. Okay, but what about the people? Digital tools mean nothing without a digital mindset. The future of pharma quality isn't just about technology. It's about people who can use technology wisely. The next generation workforce needs skills like data literacy, digital troubleshooting, familiarity with PAT outputs, understanding AI-driven decisions, working with dashboards instead of paper. When people understand digital tools, they stop reacting to problems and begin preventing them. So what does this all mean for regulatory inspections? Let's see why regulators now love digital systems. Regulators worldwide are pushing digital maturity. Why? Because digital systems provide immutable audit trails, data integrity by design, real-time visibility, reduced human error, traceable decision-making. Agencies like FDA, MHRA, 
and EMA are encouraging real-time release, advanced analytics, and continuous manufacturing. In fact, companies with higher digital maturity often face shorter inspections and fewer queries. We've explored the tech, the people, the ecosystem, and the regulatory angle. Now let's translate this into a step-by-step -step digital roadmap you can apply immediately. To begin your digital journey, here's your roadmap. Start small, digitize documentation and investigations first. Add PAT tools to monitor high-impact CPPs. Connect systems, LIMS to MES to EQMS. Build dashboards for trending and real-time visibility. Introduce AI analytics once data matures. Train your teams in digital skills. Review regulatory guidelines and align strategy. Every step increases maturity. Every improvement reduces risk. Digital transformation isn't a single project. It's a journey of becoming better, faster, and smarter. And that leads us to the final slide. What's coming up next on Pharma Health Insights? Thank you for joining Pharma Health Insights, Episode 4. I hope this episode unlocked a clear, practical, and inspiring view of the digital future of pharmaceutical quality. In Episode 5, we'll go deeper into continuous manufacturing and real-time release testing, how they work, why they matter, and how they will reshape tomorrow's pharma plants. Like, share, comment your questions, and subscribe to stay ahead in the world of pharmaceutical excellence. Together, we're building the pharma industry of the future.